Cat. I hate Forever 21 with a pat. If I would have known way back when, when I was looking at Playboy and thinking about girls, that I would live with a woman and have to go to Forever 21 every other fucking Saturday for the rest of my life, I would have just cut it off and started blowing dudes. <laughs> Outside of the Trader Joe's and Santa Monica Boulevard. And that's a good place to meet him, right by that Yukon Mining Company, Transvestite Denny's. I'm serious. <laughs> <sighs> Just smells like bruises and fucking forlorn hope. <laughs> They're a dude. They can take a punch. It's all right. They got fucking triceps. It's nice. But uh, Forever 21 is the worst store ever because no one in the store is even close to 21 years old. Anyone? It's like Slutty 14 and Sun Damage 45. That is just, and it's just, and it's like, I know you the girls love it because you can get like a skanky tanky camisole or a fucking sundress for $11 that falls apart as soon as you wash and dry it. Enjoy that, ladies. And plastic shitty jewelry that I have to find in every drawer of my home. Congratulations. And there's no boyfriend couch, and that is bullshit. Any, any store... You know the boy, like they have like this boy where it's like me and four other dudes holding fucking suede bags. <laughs> Just super interested in our cell phone bowling game for like five minutes. <laughs> And then you just feel oh, like shit, like two foot Wong Fu or some shit. Like I should just get some shoes and dance and fucking, cause they're always playing like Belgian techno and shit. It's, <laughs> it's so bad. And it's so crowded. The line like for the dressing room is like two hours. Like there's a Matterhorn or log ride or some shit at the end. And there's not, it's just an ill-fitting dress that you're gonna complain about making you look fat in the car on the way home. And I know this. That's a, don't girls don't ask if you look fat. My girl, I'm like, do I look fat? I'm not getting fat. I'm like, dude, we're both fatter than we were eight years ago when we met each other. All right, <laughs> so just zip it and sit down and hold my hand and let's wait to die because I love you. <laughs> I would have just cut it off and started blowing dudes. <laughs>